Mike Condell. I'm the general superintendent for Walsh Construction Bonfield Partnership for the uh, phase two of Women's College Hospital. Uh, so coming over in the, into phase two, I had a lot of knowledge about the actual uh, facility. Our first challenges were decommissioning. It was multiple utilities. This building has actually had about four additions to it from 1935 to 1971. So there were several utilities, several redundancies of utilities that we had to decommission with the city and, uh, and shut the building down. Taking the 1935 structure down, there's a lot of heritage items that the city and the hospital requires to keep. So uh, Priest has been given the responsibility to actually take those heritage items, package them, ship them off site to a, uh, to a location uh, that we, we tell them to send them to. So they've done a very good job at uh, realizing the client's wants to salvage those items and, uh, and being respectful about them. And uh, Priestley has done, uh, done a great job by tearing the building down, getting it out of our way, and doing it safely as well. Get it down, get it out of the way. Uh, excavation is going to proceed, so really this, this starts to become off the critical path as we, as we push towards the west. We can get going with foundations, the tower crank can go up. Demolition has been very interesting. There's been an uh, average of 60 to 70 guys a day. Uh, so it's kind of a bittersweet to see them go, but uh, it's good to get everybody off site and, uh, and move on with the project.